Hey people and welcome back to the vlog. This is episode 25, so a little milestone for me and the channel. And in this episode we hit some massive hands for massive pots, so stay tuned for this. And there is another milestone I'm pretty close to. We are almost at 500 subscribers, so if you haven't subscribed so far, do me a favor and click the small red button here under my video. Would appreciate that. And yeah, have fun with the episode. See you at the end. This day we started the session at around 9.30 pm and we are in the game for our new standard buy-in of 300 euro. In the past I rebought for 200 euro as my standard buy-in, but I feel more and more comfortable to play deep stack right at the beginning and my bankroll is slowly growing up as well. It took us 15 minutes to play our first hand, here we have pocket nines in the cutoff. We see a low jack open to 7, the hijack before me calls, I decide to call and the button and the big blind call as well. So we see a flop 5 ways of queen 8 for rainbow. We all decide to check this flop and we see the queen of hearts on the turn. All three players before me check again and I start to think that pocket nines could be the best hand here. There are some straight and flush draws now on the board and I decide to bet for protection and bet 25 into the pot. Only the big blind decide to call and I hope for a blank on the river which not come. The dealer rolls over the 10 of hearts. So some straight draws get there, the obvious back door flush draw got there and after the big blind checks to me I am happy to check back here. I turn over my hand, but the big blind turns over queen 10 offsuit. So he had the absolute nuts. Fortunately for us, he checked the river. So we lose our first hand. Let's go to the next one. 15 minutes later, we pick up ace king in the low jack. We see a limp from the under the gun player before it folds to me and I raise this pot up to 10. The hijack behind me calls and it folds back to the under the gun player who now decides to free bet. He raises to 40. He has only 180 total in his stack. Even though this kind of play always screams strength at these stakes and at this position, he only has 180 total and I double block aces and kings. If we were deeper, I think I could find a call or maybe some sometimes a fold here versus a tight opponent, but since he is only 90 big blinds deep, I think I can go with my hand here and in the end I decide to 5 bet jam. The hijack get out of the way immediately, but the under the gun player snap calls us. So I think we are not in good shape here and this feeling confirms us because my opponent shows us pocket aces. The flop comes 10-8-7 and the turn finishes us, the dealer rolls over another 8. The river brings a 5 and yeah, we lose another one. But I'm interested in you guys if you could find a fold here preflop or if you would stick it in as well here like I did. We are pretty short after this hand and I'm forced to rebuy. I rebuy for 220 euro and I'm in for 520 total now before we go into the next hand. So after we rebuy, we are carted for about 30 minutes before we pick up pocket sixes in the cutoff. There are two limbs before me and I raise to 15. It folds to the small blind who decides to 3-bet. He 3-bets to 40. It folds back to me and because we are at around 300 euro deep and this 3-bet sizing is kinda small, I decide to call here in position and we see a flop heads up. The flop comes king 10 10. Not really the flop we were looking for and the small blind decides to see bet but only for 20. Not even 25% of the pot and I think the small blind c bets this board almost 100% of the time with hands like ace queen, ace jack, queen jack for example which we are ahead of and for this price I think I should call here at least one time. So I stick in 20 as well and we see the 9 of hearts on the turn. Unfortunately another bad card for our hand but this time the small blind checks to me. I happily check back and we see a free river card in form of the ace of clubs. Another very bad card for our hand but my opponent in the small blind checks. I don't think there is a need to turn my hand into a bluff here. This board in general should definitely be in favor of the small blinds range and I check back. My opponent shows us king queen of clubs so we unfortunately lose another hand and it seems to be or it seems to get a trend that we are losing every hand at the beginning of the session and we have to fight to get back to break even or to book a winning session. We lose some more small hands and I'm forced to rebuy again. I rebuy for another 150 euro so we are in for 670 and yeah let's try not to lose the next hand. Alright? 
It's already 11.40 before we pick up our next 10 6-5 of clubs. We are under the cutoff again and we see a limp from the middle position before the low jack before me raises to 11. The high jack falls and I decide to call here in position and the middle position limper calls as well the other players get out of the way. So we see a flop of 7-4 deuce rainbow. We flop ourselves an open and it's straight draw. Pretty good and the under the gun player checks. The low jack now bets 30. Almost a pot size bet but we have an open ended straight draw. We are around 300 euro deep, so there's no way I'm folding here. I stick in 30 euros too, and the under the gun player gets out of the way. We get immediate help because the dealer rolls over the three of hearts. Bringing in the backdoor flush draw, but we have the nuts right now. Even better news, my opponent in the low jack keeps betting, this time for 60. If I were out of position, I think I should raise here, but since I'm in position, I decide just to call here with the intention to raise almost every river that doesn't contain a heart. We see a river in form of the six of diamonds. Pretty unlucky run out for us, there's a four liner to a straight and this is definitely a scare card for my opponent. And he tanks for like one minute before he checks to me. I I only have 165 left in my stack and after a small time of tanking I stick in the rest of my chips for 165 but unfortunately my opponent snap folds. He later told me he had ace queen and was considering to shove all in as a bluff. Unfortunately for us he didn't but finally we won a hand and let's go on to the next one. In this one we are at middle position with 8-6 of hearts. I'm first to act, I raise to 7 and we get only 4 callers. So we get to see a 5 way flop of jack 6-6. Six, six. We have this guy's trips here and all players before me decide to check to me. I make a small c bet of 20 here. Only the low jack behind me calls and the other players get out of the way. We see the king of spades on the turn which is an ok card for me and I want to continue betting here. I don't want to bet too big, I want to keep the low jack into the pot so I bet 45. Not much time goes by and the low jack calls again. We see an inconsequential 4 of diamonds on the river and I'm pretty sure I still have the best hand here. Now the question is how much do I want to bet? I think with my bluffs like missed flush draws or maybe a hand like queen 10 that gained equity on the turn but missed on the river, I would bet a little bigger here on the river as a bluff so I want to bet big with my value hands as well. And after a small time I decide to go for 125. My opponent told me something like oh I really think you have a full house but I can't fold so he immediately calls and I show my hand and he shows us 7-6 of spades. So we unfortunately don't win this hand, we split this one up, but as you guys know, everyone loves a chop pot, right? It's already after midnight before we pick up our next hand. This time we are at the under gun position with pocket 8s. Of course I'm first to act and I raise to 7. The plus one player to my left immediately free bets to 20. It falls to the blinds who surprisingly both decide to cold call. That gives me a superb prize to call here as well and to set mine with my pocket aids and that's what I do and we see a flop four ways. The dealer rolls over a pretty good looking flop of 865 with two spades. So we hit top set here and the board is pretty wet, definitely a good opportunity to stick in some money here. The small blind checks, but now the big blind surprisingly donk leads all in for 66 total. Even though the board is pretty wet, I don't want to scare my opponents away here by raising this flop, so I only decide to call. Unfortunately 66 is already enough for the plus one and the small blind player and they decide to fold. So we see a run out, no more action. The turn brings the 10 of diamonds and the river brings the queen of diamonds. We show our hands and we are good. Finally some run good in our way. Not so much time goes by until we pick up ace jack offsuit in the cutoff. There are two limbs before me and I raise to 15. The button and the limpers decide to call and we go four ways to a very nice flop of king 10 9 all spades. So we have the nut flush draw, a gut shot to Broadway, overall a lot of equity for us. The two limpers before me check and I see bet for 35. That seems to be too much for all of them because one by one all of them decide to fold and we scoop in this pot uncontested. The next hand is definitely the hand of the day and also the play of the day. 
Okay, to be honest, for me, this hand played itself and there was not so much skill involved on my part. Anyway, we are in the small bind with pocket fours. There's a button straddle to aid and I'm next to act and I decide only to call here and see what develops. The big blind calls as well before it falls to the low jack who makes it 30. The button straddle decides to call and I definitely call here to set mind as well and that for sure invites the big blind player as well and we see a flop four ways. Can we hit another set? I think you guys guessed it. The dealer rolls over ace, queen, four with two spades. Oh baby, what a feeling. Flopping bottom set in a massive pot. We are out of position and I start with a check. Unfortunately, all of my opponents behind me check as well and we see a turn. Luckily for us, it's a brick, it's the three of clubs. Now I definitely want to start to build a pot here, the only question is on how much I wanna bet. After a small time I decide to bet for 75, the big blind and the low jack fold but we get one customer, the button decides to call. I really hope for a non-spade card on the river and indeed we get one. The dealer rolls over the 4 of clubs so we hit quartz, quartz for, for the boy. And now again is the question on how much I want to bet. To be honest I'm not really sure what is the best bet sizing here on the river but after some time I decide 125 seems to be good and let's see what the button wants to do. The button decides not to call, not to fold, the button decides to jam all in for my remaining stack of around 385 total and yeah there is no better feeling you have the nuts on the river and your opponent raises you and of course I stick in the call and tell him I have the nuts here sorry bro I show my hand and he immediately mugs we hit quartz and got max paid here in this hand unbelievable feeling and we are out of the hole now we are back in the green and yeah we have one more hand I want to go over let's go to it in the last hand of the night we are in the low jack with queen eight of hearts we are short handed so I am first to act I raise to 7 and the hijack immediately behind me raises to 20 it falls through the big blind who cold calls the free bet and that gives me a very good price to call here as well the hijack and I are very deep about 800 euro effective so this could be interesting if we see a very nice flop and indeed we see one the dealer burns and rolls over king jack 10 with two hearts the big blind and I decide to play in flow and we check to our opponent. The hijack decides to see bet but only for 20. That seems to be a fair price for the big blind and for me of course as well. I mean we have an open ended straight draw, a flush draw and a gut shot to the straight flush. Of course I call. I could consider raising here but for this price I think we can see a turn pretty cheaply and see what develops. The turn brings the 4 of clubs so unfortunately no improvement for us and the big blind and I decide to check once more. The hijack bets once more. This time he sizes up to 75. This seems to be too much for the big blind because he folds but for me I think that's a fair price to draw to our 20 outs here and so I stick in 75 as well. We see a beautiful deuce of hearts on the river so we get there with our flush and we have the third nuts right now. This is definitely a scare card for my opponent in the hijack and I don't want to check to him. Most of the time he will check back to me and we will lose a lot of value here. So I give me some time and think about a good bet size here which I may choose with some missed straight draws or maybe with a hand that contains the ace of hearts and after a small time I decide to bet 175. My opponent immediately seems to be annoyed and frustrated. So I know I'm definitely good here and I really want to call right now. No jokes, my opponent tanks for 5 minutes. He knows he shouldn't call here in this spot, I know he shouldn't call because I know I'm good but after 5 minutes he decides to call. I turn over my hand and of course we are good. My opponent doesn't show his hand but later told me he flopped the straight with ace queen. Unfortunately for him we suck out on him and we scoop in a very nice pot for the end of the session. Let's go into the session update. What a session again. We hit it quartz and got max value. Insane. Just insane. To keep things short today I was in the game for 670 euro and out of the game for 1140. Makes a profit of exactly this one here. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the vlog. See you on the next one. Like and subscribe if you liked my videos. Much appreciated and goodbye guys.